now. Right, I have, we're uh, going to go through today um, and do a presentation, a very short presentation on uh, Google Hangouts and Google Hangouts on Air and how we can use them in NCAS. Um, so basically, Hangouts allow us to host a live broadcast or discussion um, and then present that through Google Plus and, uh, and YouTube. Um, this is going to be hopefully useful for us for doing internal seminars and then we can uh, make these available to other people in NCAS. Um, so how will this work for NCAS? Uh, every member currently of NCAS has a Google account. Um, so this means we can invite every single member of NCAS to view the webinar presentation or we can specify some small subgroups to in in invite to our webinar. Um, if we want, we can also invite uh, people external um, to NCAS, so the Met Office, for example, and um, as long as they have a Google account, they can join in on the, the, the webinar and, and view it. Um, this is all free because Google has a Google for Education application package, um, so it won't cost us anything, and in theory, everyone on all of the sites will be able to use this and set this up. Um, so what equipment do we need? Currently today, we're using just very basic equipment, we've got an external microphone, a USB one, um, a small webcam, and a laptop. Uh, you'll need a good internet connection, probably a wired connection is better rather than wireless, um, because you, you need the bandwidth really to, to keep the quality up. Um, so the setup cost will be about £150. Um, these microphones here are about 70 or 80 and uh, 40 or 50 pounds for the for the, uh, the webcam and some extra leads and things like that. But yeah, not, not a huge amount of money, but um, and obviously a, and a laptop running Windows. Um, so what do the audience see when we start one of these um, Google Hangouts on air? The, once the invitations have been sent out, they'll get a link and they can either click on their Google Plus page or they can just go onto the, the live link which will point them to a YouTube channel. Um, once the presentation is started, um, they can either click on the link to watch it directly in Google Plus or they can do it in um, YouTube. Um, if they miss the start time, they can either watch it from the beginning um, or they can jump straight to the live point in the presentation. Um, Hangouts on air are a one-way broadcast, so the viewers can't talk, they can only watch. So if they want to ask questions, we need to do that via another, another method, so email or maybe put them onto Twitter. Um, testing so far, we've done three, three test meetings um, with mixed success. Um, I filmed the NCAS OEG meeting. Um, we, I also filmed a seminar in the school about volcanoes, and Flea uh, also filmed the flooding research forum uh, in Cambridge. Cambridge. Um, pros and cons of using Google Hangouts. Uh, we're finding the the sound is always very good. Using these external microphones works really well. Um, even in a large room, we could hear all the questions. For example, in the NCAS OG meeting, all the questions that were asked across the, the whole room were, were, were audible. And um, so we're quite happy with the sound. Um, as I say, you do need a wired internet connection, um, as the, the wireless dropped out a couple of times during the OG meeting. But the, the good news about that is the, the broadcast did continue once the connection was restored. So nothing went really lost, but um, it's better to just have the wire and you don't have to worry about it. Um, we're also having trouble with um, the webcams um, and for viewers to see the screen and the presenter at the same time. This is generally because the webcams struggle to focus on the, on, on the screen because they're very, very bright in a dark room. So. Not really sure what we can do about that. We might be able to just share the screen, but then you wouldn't see the presenter. So it's kind of there's two ways of doing it. Um, but you can see this this today. Uh, this is probably as good as it's going to get. So if you can't read the text, then um, 
maybe just sharing the screen and not seeing the presenter might be a way forward. Um, moving forward, I think we need to try a meeting um, across more than one site um, and probably identifying train some staff up around NCAS at the key sites so they know how to do this and uh, make sure that uh, they all have the, the, the working kit um, and they know how to use it. And if it's successful, we should start uh, organising regular hangouts on air for NCAS and hopefully archive these on the on the website for people to look at on the internet. Anyway, that's as far as we've got. So I'll leave you now to uh, come up with any questions.